welcome to day four, our final day together, unless of course you decide to join us in our one cell a day mentorship. And we certainly hope that you do. <laughs> um, I, my name is Debbie Kelly, and as many of you know, I am on the team of Conway Consulting and I have the honor of hosting the call today. So I hope you are all as excited as I am. Um, how many of you have enjoyed the past three days? Show of hands. Yeah. Let's do a little jazz hands, as Jack would say. It's the Team Conway. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> Does anyone want to share um, an aha moment that they had from yesterday? Any, like, something that really, really stood out to you? Just raise your hand. Raise your hand if you want to share something. Don't be shy. As Dave always says, you're not allowed to be shy if you're a salesperson. Jay Forbes, go ahead. Yeah, the importance on the greeting alone and uh, how Dave says within the first two minutes. Uh, after watching a few uh, people do that, you can I can definitely see where uh, where I'm going wrong even. You know, so uh, that, that really stood out for me. Yeah, awesome, Jay. Yeah, the greeting sure sets the tone. Absolutely. Uh, joyful Jennifer, go ahead. There you go. Can you hear me now? Yeah, you bet. Awesome. The importance of being able to direct conversation with questions, with your questions on um, how was your day? Doesn't work. Is that what you really want? Is awesome. Yeah, <laughs> I love it. <laughs> Is that what you really want? Yeah. <laughs> Great share. Christine. Uh, the fact that you can get all the objections within the first two minutes, and then that's what you're going to bang on throughout the call. Right. Yeah. Awesome. Are you going to use that? I am. Yeah. Awesome. I love it. Anyone else want to share anything? Okay. Well, if no one has anything else to share, um, what we're going to do is we're going to start the call with some sales simulations, and then we're going to open it up for Q and A. There was a few people we missed yesterday, and I believe one of them was Cindy Boyd. Are you on the call today, Cindy? I don't think I see you, but was there anyone else that wanted to do a sales simulation with Dave? Just raise your hand if you, you would like to. Cindy should be coming, by the way, uh, Debbie, any minute, so. Okay. okay, perfect. Anyone else wanna take this time and role play with Dave? Come well, on. I think, I think Jay Forbes has to. And I knew, I knew wants to, but I think Jay Forbes has to, hey? Eh? I, I has to, doesn't he? Yeah. What do you think, Jay? You ready? Well, I'll give it a shot. So I love it. There you go. All right, beautiful. <laughs> All right. Thanks, Debbie. Um, so Debbie's going to moderate the call today. Uh, and before we get going with Jay and anybody else, Jay and Anu, and hopefully Cindy arrives as well, um, I want everyone to write this down. It's all about awareness. It's all about awareness. You see, your life is the manifestation of your level of awareness. So if you want your life to change, there's only one thing that needs to change, and that would be your level of awareness. Now, some of us became aware yesterday of, Chelsea, if you want to make me the co-host as well, it'd be good. Some of us became aware yesterday of certain things. So Jay shared a new awareness. Christine shared a, a new awareness. Uh, Joyful Jennifer shared a new awareness. Um, Maybe some became aware, say, hey, what the hell? I should make my name cool, like Joyful J or Jolly J. We could put that on as your name tag on Zoom. You know, and then throughout the week, I would assume that many of you became aware of other ideas that you think could help you move yourself in the direction of your heart's desires. Who here on the call maybe had their head pop off three times this week with ideas that are like, wow, that could really have a serious impact on my life? Right. And that's what it's all about. 
You see, what most people don't understand, people think that goal achievement is like some struggle or something. The truth is, is actually not. The second you set a goal, what begins to happen is you expand your conscious level of awareness. You see, when you have a desire, what we have to understand that is that desires exist in the subconscious mind of a human being, in myself and in you. And the, your desires, the fixed desires, which and a desire, you want to write this down, a desire is an emotionalized want. That's what it is. It's an emotionalized want. And so many of us are so obsessed with ourself and how we think that we don't stop for a second to actually ask ourselves, could my life change? Could it really change? And then you can ask yourself another question. How? How can I change my life? How could I go from an amateur to a <clears throat> master salesperson? How could I do that? And I'm going to tell everybody right now, the secret is repetition. Over and over and over. I can't tell you. I've probably had over 10,000 people tell me that they want to master sales. And only a very few small, small few behavior to reflect that they're actually serious about that. It's so easy to just wish for a thing. That's easy. It's so easy to fantasize. When you start to move yourself in the direction of your heart's desire or in, in the direction of your goals or your desires, what you will begin to attract, and this is massive, What you will begin to attract is you will begin to attract awareness. Every person on this call today has attracted me into their life. And I'm going to assume that you've attracted me into your life because you have a desire. And I'm also probably going to guess that that desire is to live a better life. I'm going to assume that that desire is also to shorten your time on how fast you achieve your goals. Maybe there's some people on this call that uh, are really struggling achieving their goals. Maybe some people do achieve them, but it's just way too damn slow. <laughs> the, 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 mortgage, the mortgage at the bank doesn't, like, doesn't wait that long. <laughs> the, the, the rent, the tenant, the landlord doesn't wait that long. You have to start to understand that what you do is you attract awareness. And what we also have to understand is that desire shortens time. Desire literally shortens time. If you and I put a chicken in the oven at 10 degrees, I don't think we're going to want to eat that chicken. Very low heat, doesn't cook that fast. You put in at 250, you might get that chicken in 90 minutes. You put in at 400, you get it in 25 minutes. You put in at 1,000, you'll get it in five minutes. You know we could take a laser, point it at that piece of chicken, vaporize it, and send it back once it came. Where'd the chicken go? How could we vaporize a chicken? How could we turn a solid piece of matter into a non-physical or an ether, an etherical state? So when you have, when you understand this, when you start to understand that all thought is non-physical, most of your life is non-physical, almost all of it. And when you start wrapping your head around that, and it's big for some people like this could, this could, what I'm saying may even scare some people. But where does a goal exist? It just exists in yourself. And we know that everything operates by law. And thought is energy. So all energy is governed by law. And thought is energy. So I say, oh, there's no such thing as a closing problem. Yeah, that's accurate. There really isn't. Because the close is an effect. It's an effect. Why would you work on an effect? There's no point in working on an effect. You got to work on a cause. What are the four primary causes? The first cause is desire. Most people have a desire problem. They have what I also call a desire sequencing problem. 
Now, some people say they want to become a master, but yet their behavior to reflect the polar opposite. And I said to you earlier this week, what's the fastest way to expand your level of awareness? I'm going to tell you what it is. I'm going to tell you for the second time this week now. Get around a person that has what you want. And then what you do is you do every single thing that person tells you to do. But most people aren't going to do that. They're too busy being themselves. The first step to closing more sales is you got to get really damn serious about your desires. What do you really want to see happen? Do you really want to become a master salesperson? Do you really? Because up until today, today's Friday, you've been on here with, with me for four days now, and I've only seen two people actually take that serious. Two. You know how many people register for this event? 500. You know how many people are on the first call on Monday? I think it was like 70. How many are here today? 30. You see? Do you see? Most people are full of shit. You know how you change your life? You change your life. That's how you change your life. You start to change your conscious level of awareness. It ain't never going to happen. You know what the chance of you achieving your goal is if you don't change? Zero. You know how many people in North America earn over a million dollars a year? It's like 0 0.00075. Why? Is it so easy to say you want it? It's just so easy. You got to get serious about your desires. You see, we all have multiple desires. Now, you might say, why the hell is he getting so hardcore on us this morning? I'm telling you, because I'm trying to help you become a master salesperson. Because that's what you said you wanted. First is desire. The second is you have to understand paradigms. Because when you meet a person, and I want, you, I want everyone to write this down. When you meet a person, you're meeting a paradigm. You're not really meeting them. You're meeting a, a conditioned thought process. You're meeting a person that is conditioned to think a certain way. So what you have to do, the only thing that you want to write down, the only thing they'll do battle with a paradigm is a desire. And the crazy thing is that a paradigms are also a desire. Oh, there's a lot of people on this call that want to become master salespeople, but they don't want to invest in themselves in one sale a day club because that costs too much. So you got two desires running. Oh, there's people on this call that do have a desire, or so they say, and then but they don't have enough money to do it, and they're not willing to go borrow it. So that's their desire. What's your desire? Your desire is not willing to borrow the money. You can't deviate from this. This is, called, this is called the law of cause and effect. It's an absolute law. You can't lie to me. And I hope in the last four days, I've gotten everyone to the place where you can't lie to yourself. Why don't you stop for a second and just quit snowing yourself? Quit tricking yourself. Why, why, why do you tolerate that? Did you know that every thought you think either expands your life or constricts it? Every thought. Every thought? Mm-hmm. Every thought.
Now, I'm not here to try and get you to do something you don't want to do. But if you really do want to master selling, I'll tell you right now, I'll show you how to do it. I will teach you more about yourself and our time together than anyone's ever uh, taught you in your entire life. And I found that the better I know me, the better I know you. How can I talk to you like this? Well, I'm going to tell you how. Because every mentor I've ever had that's ever actually helped me in my life has talked to me even harsher than this. I had a mentor when I was in my early 20s that said, Dave, you should just shut your mouth for the next year because everything you say is worthless. You just listen to me, you do what I tell you, and your life will start to change. And he was right. Joyful, joyful Jennifer liked that. <laughs> That's what he said. And we used to actually go, we'd meet other people. And sometimes I start to talk. And then afterwards, he'd pull me aside and say, don't talk. Don't talk. I told you not to talk for a year. I used to attract, um, as a younger man, I used to attract a lot of, we'll call them wild women. And, uh, and uh, I, <laughs> I wanted a good girl, you know? I wanted a wife. And uh, he's he said, well, he made me go like, uh, what do you call it? Uh, not chass in the right word, but yeah, just no dating, no, no communication with the opposite sex for a whole year. I didn't like that. And uh, that, that freaking guy, he, um, that lasted four years, four years. I could have, um, I could have starred in that movie. Never kissed a, never kissed a girl or whatever. Was that like Drew Barrymore? Never kissed a boy or never kissed or first <laughs> call or something like that. But four years later, yeah, never been kissed. That was me. That was four years. Never been kissed. I call it the years of the desert, the years of the Sahara. There was no love in my life. But this man, what he did was he started to help me develop self-love. And then he started getting me to change. And then four years later, I attracted my beautiful wife, Jacqueline. You see, I could never attract her until I worked on me. Because everything operates by law. You're not here by accident. But today you do have a choice. And the choice will be this. Are you serious about accomplishing your goals and dreams? Or are you just tired kicking? And if you want to know the answer, you look at your behavior and it'll tell you. In or out. Unless in the last four days, you just think, I don't know what I'm talking about. The third thing is your self-image. So the first is desire. Number two is paradigms. You got to understand them. Three is your self-image. Who is the man or woman that is a master salesperson living the life you want? Who are they? How do they walk, talk, dress? How do they show up? What's their energy like? What's their attitude like? Do they have a team? If so, what's the culture there? Do they buckle under pressure? Are they relaxed? How much money do they earn? What kind of car do they drive? How tolerant are they of failure? How much courage do they have? Do they make decisions fast or do they make them slow? Who are they? Now, I don't know about you, but I'd really love to meet that person, wouldn't you? They seem pretty powerful.
If you really understand what I'm saying to you today, I'm going to tell you, you can have anything you want in life. This is no joke. This is your life. And you're going to find that everything in your life is a reflection of thoughts that you have accepted. So why the hell on God's green earth would you continue to accept thoughts that are producing results that you don't want? And the fourth is what we've been working on all week. It's your sales presentation. Because you have to be able to understand how to move another person in the direction of what they want, not what you want, forget you, what they want. Jay, let's go. Wow, how do you follow that? I love it when you preach. <laughs> you ready? <laughs> okay, let's I do it. I think I need an ice pack or something. Wait first. <laughs> Jay's just sweating over there. <laughs> okay, all right. Okay. Yeah, I'm ready to give her a go. Let's do it. Oh, this. yeah, let's do it. This will be great. I'm sure you're going to do awesome. So tell us what you do, how long you've been doing it, and let's just do like a, a, a mock-up. Like, um, no, I, I, I'll make the scenario. I'll tell you the scenario. So tell us what you do, how long you've been doing it. Yeah. I've been in uh, financial services for, I started about three years ago, but just uh, within the last little while, I would say even since January, I actually started in full time and haven't done much with it in the last little while. I was trans. Coming out of construction, much like yourself, shut that business right down. So now it's uh, sink or swim time. Cool. So financial services, three years, and what's the per what do you help people do? If you can make a one liner, what do you do? Help people. We educate people on uh, financial security, where they are and where they where they want to go get to. Okay. Have you ever done a talk to a group before? No. Okay. Would you like to? Do I have a choice right now? Well, no, no, no. Like, have you ever talked to a yeah, group absolutely. about? Your... Yes, I would. Yes, I would. Yeah, you'd like that. But I'm going to tell you, like, you want to, you want to learn how to do that because then you're going to go one to many and you'll start to leverage yourself. That's right. Okay. So let's pretend you've done a talk last night. Okay. And it's on um, financial literacy. Tell us what it was on. What was your talk on last night? Uh, yeah. Well, we'll just say financial literacy. Okay. Wonderful. Okay. You ready? I think so. Yep. And you left a little card on the table and I filled it out and here we are. Okay, great. Okay. Rock and roll. All right. Good afternoon, Dave. How are you doing? Terrible. Well, sorry to hear that. Hopefully I can make your day a little better here for you. You, uh, you left a card on the table there. And uh, what was it that you, what inspired you to fill out the information on the card there? Um, let's uh, start again. Okay. Go right for the kill. Okay. Good afternoon, Dave. How are you? Oh, no. I'm even worse. Yeah, well, I mean, I'm sorry to hear that. So, <laughs> listen, listen I, I hope you, uh, judging by the card here, you're looking for some information on financial security. So today I'm here to help you out with that. Is there anything that really stuck out in there that you would really like more clarification on? Yeah, I like that. Okay, now let's go again from the top. Good afternoon, Dave. How are you? No, never start with that. Okay. Good afternoon, Dave. I, I picked up your card here. I'm calling you, and it looks like you're looking for some information. Is there anything I can okay. give you? Some there you go. With? Start there. Looking for information, then pause. Okay. Go ahead. Okay. Ready? Go. You're looking for some information. Yeah. Is there is there something I can give you clarification? What was it that really stuck out for you? Uh, I really liked how you um, were talking about compound interest. Oh, awesome. Good, good. Is there what aspect, like in, just in the savings aspect or more on the uh, building wealth or what was it that you were really after? Um, well, building wealth was a pretty, pretty hot idea. I like that. Okay, well, great. Well, you know, in order to get us to that point uh, where I can teach you a little bit, I want to find out a little bit more about you, like 
what you do for a living, what your age is roughly, you know, a few of your goals and dreams and where you'd like to go and, and more or less a, and a little bit about your retirement. Does that sound fair? That sounds good. Okay, pause. All right. So how do you feel about that? Yeah, I feel a little better getting it out, but I feel I'm rushing it more than anything. Hey, let's go one more time from the top. One more. Hey, good afternoon, Dave. I just picked up your card and it looks like you're looking for some information. Is there something I can give you clarification with? Um, yeah, well, yeah, I don't know. You were talking lots of stuff last night. Yeah, it was, it was a well done presentation, I thought, on financial literacy. Now on here, it says you're looking for more on how uh, compound interest works. So, you know, that's, that's right. something that I'd really like to teach you. Now, in order to get us to that point, I need to find out a little bit more about you, such as what you do for, for work and how long you've been doing that for and some of the desires and dreams that you're looking for in life and, uh, and ultimately uh, what you'd like to be doing in retirement. So does that sound fair to you? It does. Okay. Now I'm going to do it. I'm going to sell you your thing. You ready? Yep. Okay. Awesome. Uh, AJ, really thrilled to meet with you today. Hey, what inspired you to fill out the card last night and, and book in an appointment with me today? Well, I thought it was a well done presentation and, uh, and I am looking for a little bit more, more information on the financial security and compound interest and whatnot. Okay, so financial security and compound interest? Yeah, yeah, building wealth in general and set myself up for retirement. Oh, okay, so you're looking to build wealth and set yourself up for retirement? Yes, sir. Awesome. And uh, how long have you desired that? Or is this a new idea? Uh, a little while. I've been self-employed in the past and, uh, you know, it's an idea for a pension. And uh, as I don't come from an employer with a pension, so I need to tackle this on my own. Okay. And have you ever um, attempted to get this financial freedom going before and kind of couldn't get it, get it where it needed to be? Uh, well, I tried with the bank, but it just seems like at the bank, you're always dealing with the teller. And the next week you go in at someone different. So it, to me, I just felt like a transaction. Yeah. So you're looking for something a little more close touch point, a little more boutique. You're looking for a person yes. to guide you each step of the way. Is that correct? Yeah, nail on the head right there. Awesome. Well, there's no question I can help you with that. And uh, I'm excited to talk with you about this today because we're really good at it. Great. Look forward to it. Perfect. So on today's call, I want to find out more about you. I'd like to go a little deeper into your business, what you're actually looking like, what you want to see at retirement, how much wealth you want to build because you were talking about wealth before. I'll go over the details of what it actually looks like um, getting uh, our, our boutique services, our close touch point services for you. And we just see if it's a fit uh, to work together, okay? Yeah, that sounds fair. Perfect, awesome, let's begin. So how long, and then boom. Yeah. Now, let's, let's break it down. What do we know about them now? A lot. <laughs> we know a lot about you, don't we? Yeah. How many minutes was that? Let's put it in the chats. What do we know about them? Throw it in the chat. Self-employed. What else do we know about them? People can unmute too. Looking for retirement security, wants personalized service. Why does he want personalized service? Transaction at the bank. Yeah. Not happy with the bank, concerned about the future, wanted trusted service, tried conventional banking before, been looking for a while, building wealth. He wants to feel like a valued person. Did I make him feel valued? I would start. And how many times did I, do you think I, if you go back and watch, how many times did I say boutique? which is close touch point. Well, three or four, three or four times. And I'll, I'll say, even just you saying that, that made me feel more heard more than anything, like valued, uh, respected, you know. We you know that. You repeated back to him a couple of times exactly what he said. 
I mirrored every all of his desires back. Yep. Wow. It's called the rhythm of agreement. I can teach every person on this call how to do it. It's not a trick. It's this man actually, I, I know I can help him, but get, I know. How about this, Jay? If, if you were talking to you and you did everything you said to create wealth, would you be able to help yourself? Like the guy across this sitting cross? Yeah, absolutely. 100%, no doubt, right? Mm -hmm. So it's not a disbelief in what he's doing. It's his inability to sell it. If you get this, I'm going to suspect that your product or service works or else it wouldn't exist. Mm -hmm. And if it didn't work, it wouldn't exist very long. Therefore, it's your ability to sell them. We know, we know he wants value. We mirrored it back. Look how deep we are. Can you feel, could you feel, connect, can you feel connected to me right now, Jake? Can, we, can you feel my intention with you? Yeah, absolutely. Instant emotional composite. And we're in a simulation. I don't even sell what Jay sells. But you know what the number one thing is? I care about Jay. I actually care so much about him. And I care so much about everybody on this call that I've dedicated my entire life to trying to help you understand what I'm saying. And you can feel it. Because you have an intuition. You can feel it. Who felt, do you feel better, Jay, after you selling me? Or do you feel better after me talking to you? You talking to me. Isn't that interesting? You feel pretty good right now? Yeah, I do. I feel like. I know who I'm going to call right after this. Do you feel relaxed? Feel relaxed, not as tight, mm -hmm. not as tense. Yeah. I've said to uh, everybody, I think it's three times, we're on our third day of this now. The first thing that happens when you meet somebody is a thing called energy transference. And my energy go right into him. You want to be a dink, Jay, and I'll try and sell you? No, I don't want to be a dink. <laughs> <laughs> It'll be fun. Yeah, okay. you, want to be a, you want to be a toughie? You want to be a tougher? Toughy, toughy yeah, one? I'll, I'll give it a shot. Yeah, yeah be a toughie. Okay, be a toughie. You ready? Sure. Okay. Hey, Jay, I'm thrilled to meet with you today. What inspired you to uh, fill out the card last night and, and book in some time with me today? Well, actually, I kind of wanted to call and complain. I didn't really learn anything. Oh, yeah? And what did you want yeah. to complain about? I just thought it was a waste of my time sitting there. Okay. With you. So why did you book in today? If yesterday was a waste of your time, why are you wasting your time now? I guess because I was kind of hoping for a phone call like this. Yeah? Yeah. What, what are you looking for? Just like a, a fight or well, something? I'm looking for somebody who will actually look at me and treat me with a little respect and uh, you know, take care of me, not just say words, do more action than words kind of thing. I'm tired of the way things are right now yeah so you're a little frustrated yeah i think a lot of people are frustrated and uh, me more so yeah and but there's something inside you that did you just like and be honest with me i don't really mind i'm a big boy you're you're a big boy um did you call here to discuss some financial services or did you just call to did you want to book in to kind of you know let me have it well honestly my wife made me fill the card out but to tease her i just kind of wanted to get in and just uh See what it is. See, you guys are all the same. You know, yeah. so how are you different? Yeah. And uh, did your wife make you go last night too? 
Uh, I'll admit to that uh, unwillingly. Yes, <laughs> she did, eh? Yep. Yes. Do you she think she sure did? Why do you think she? She wants this information persistent. more than I do. I feel I already know it all. So there you go. Oh, okay. So why do you feel she's so persistent with you? Like for you to talk to me? Because if you don't want to talk to me, that's fine. We can hang up right now. I don't mind. It's all good. Yeah, that's a good question. So I think that she's got other ideas than I do. It's like two separate paths in a way. Right. So you're just meeting me today to please her? More or less, yep. Yeah. Do you do a lot of that? Uh, yeah, I, I guess you could say that. Yeah. I'd like to not admit to that, but. Okay. Do you think this... <laughs> Do you think this call would um, go better if she was on it with us? Uh, she'd probably get more value out of it, absolutely. Yeah. So she's always projecting on you, trying to get you to change you or, yeah. you know, absolutely. all the time, eh? Yep. <laughs> well, I know you said that we're all the same, but would you, would you be okay with this as an idea? And I, I'm going to present to you an idea that you and I come here today with a neutral mind. And let's have a man-to-man -man conversation about where you're at right now, what you do actually want, and then you let me just present to you how we can help you. And I know we can, if you're open to that. But if you're not open to that, that's no problem. We can end the call. That's your, you make that decision. Well, I am open to the idea. I'm just a little reluctant as I've heard the same song and dance many times over. But yeah, yeah. I'll keep an open mind. Absolutely. For sure. Yeah? Yeah. Okay, wonderful. So on today's call, I want to... If you get a person that is very aggressive or closed or whatever, you're not selling the presentation anymore. What you're doing is you're selling them willingness. Because most people do actually want to treat other people with respect. Mm -hmm. But you'll see, I probably said probably four times, if you want to end the call, we can end it. I really don't care. I don't, I don't really want to talk to Jay if he's going to be a jerk. I really don't. Nor do I have to. I'm a human being. But I also know if he's meeting with me, there's a desire. You see, I'm trying to isolate the desire. I'm trying to say, well, are you just, and I ask him, I say, are you here just to, you know, give me an earful? Are you here to get in a fight with me? I asked him. That can be a very legit desire. Or are you here because you always do what you're, you have a desire to please your wife? And FYI, she's the sweetest woman I've ever had in my life. <laughs> <So there you. laughs> you see, I pinpoint the desires. I have to know why is he sitting in front of me? Within the first 60 seconds, you got to attempt to say, why is this person in front of me? Like, why are they really here? Dave, and I'm. You do people come on a call like this with this position in, in real life? Oh, God, I've had some calls. That, they're few and far between now, but I've had some very interesting calls in my life. And, I'm, and if you're in sales, I'm sure you have had to. Yep. You know, very aggressive people, very close people. Um, I remember this one lady, I, it was like this. It was like, uh, I forget her name. Uh, I'll make up a name, Tamara. Um, I do remember. I, I do remember pretty, pretty well. And we'll call her Tamara. And uh, I did a talk one night and she came or one day, she actually came to the whole event and then filled out the form. And then I said, Hey, Tamara, it's excited to meet you today. What inspired you to fill out the card and book in with me? And uh, she said, yeah, um, well, you made me. And I said, I made you what? And she's like, well, you made me fill out the card. I said, did I? I said, I don't remember doing that. I said, did I grab your hand or something and write your name on the card or put your phone number on there? And she's like, no, but everybody else was doing it. And I said, okay, well, are you in the habit of doing everything that everybody else is doing? And she's like, whoa. I said, I don't remember making you do that. But it appears that you like to follow the crowd. And also appears that... Uh, you like to blame other people for your behavior. 
Now, I can help you with that if you're open to it. But if not, we should probably just end this call. What do you think? Yeah, let's end the call. Done. Oh, yeah. I've talked to people that this one lady was uh, had this little bottle. I was like, a, it was a it was a it was a big gulp. Mm -hmm. And as I started talking to her on the call, she's sipping on this big gulp and she started getting just looser and looser as the call went on. And then by the end of the call, that lady probably had down to Lisa Mickey for sure. There's a guy on this call high as a kite just yesterday. They're around, they come. <laughs> <laughs> Debbie, let's do Cindy. Yeah, um, yeah, let's do Cindy. But Vanessa asked here in the in the chat, she said, Can you do a scenario where someone tells you they can't afford your services right off the bat? So you want to oh, do that? Oh yeah. Or do you want to do Cindy first? What Let's do, do Cindy because she came and we said we would. So we'll try and get around that to Vanessa. And I guess we could go a little bit longer if we need to today, if everybody's okay with that. Cindy, you ready? Cindy, come on down. I'm ready. Before we go, let's give a round of applause for Jay and a round of applause for Cindy. Thanks for being very much there, Dave. I really appreciate that. Jay, you watch that recording over and over and over and over and over and over until it's so baked into your consciousness that you you can't even say anything different. <laughs> Got it. I will be. That's for sure. 20, 30, 40, 100 times. <laughs> repetition. I'm dead serious. Repetition. <laughs> I told you guys. Key, yeah. Repetition is the key. Okay. Cindy, let's boogie. Okay. So Cindy, tell us what you do, how long you've been doing it. Okay. I am a life coach. Um, I've been studying for a while and just getting around to doing it. I have two clients so far. Beautiful. And what's a while? Um, probably two years. Two years. Two years. Okay. Two clients one. in two years. You're batting two for two. You're a member of the One Sale a Year Club. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay well let's start to change that okay cindy okay. let's um let's have do you have, do you do workshops no ever not done yet. A talk would you like no. to yes absolutely okay. are you sure absolutely yes okay wonderful okay, okay. um i uh, i do have a call booked for tuesday uh -huh. and it's a guy that i that i know that i called up and i used your script um I'm putting together a group uh, with wealth, wealth management, no, creation, I can't remember, I'm really nervous. That's wealth okay. creation and entrepreneurial, entrepreneurship. Okay, wonderful, okay. okay before <laughs> we start, this is good, this is good. Okay, before we start, sorry, what are you gonna sorry. do? What are you gonna do, you're gonna take your hands, your hands, just shake them like that, and okay. just take them and just rest them out on your lap and go, Again. There you go. Feel better? Yeah. Let's go. Okay. Ring, ring. Ring, ring. So, hi, Dave. I'm really excited that you came on this call with me. And I'm just curious, when I called you last week and said that I was putting together this wealth management entrepreneur group ship, Oh, uh, was there something in that those words that intrigued you to come on this call? Is there something in those words that interests you? Uh, yeah, you know, I've seen you. Um, I've seen you on a couple of videos uh, recently. And um, I saw that you're a life coach. And when you sent me the text, I clicked on your profile. And um, I've been kind of, you know, looking for a life coach myself uh, lately. So I, I thought that maybe we could talk. Okay. What areas in the life coach are you wanting, are you interested in most? Um, well, actually, to be honest, that I'm not too sure. Um, I just know that uh, I've been looking to kind of increase and, and improve my own life, but I'd almost be looking for your guidance on that. Okay. How long have you been thinking about doing this? How long has it been? Uh, 
Um, you know, to be honest, since when me and my wife had our second kid, I'd really, uh, I don't know, the second one, it's been, it's been tough since. Okay. How old is your second child? She's uh, three now. Okay. And tough in what ways? Uh, well, she's, she's got challenges, mentally challenged. So okay. I've been having, I've been struggling uh, with that. It's, you know, tiring, really, really, really altered our life. Yeah. So your energy is sucked out of your life? Yeah, some days, some days, some days it's mm -hmm. tough, you know. So is there, is there something that you could see happening that would change that? Yeah, like I said, like, I'm, I'm just kind of looking for your guidance right now. Okay, well, I can help you with that for sure. I can help okay. you with that. So on this call, what's going to happen is I'm going to get to know you better, what your goals are, what your wants, your desires are. And then I'm going to show you how our program works. Um, and we'll see if it's a fit for you. Wonderful. Okay. All right. She loosened up. <laughs> Hey. Yeah. You want to go again? Okay. Yeah. Where can I improve? What areas? Um, well, the start. Your start. I think you got in a great rhythm. Okay. Um, okay. So your start was like talking about what words and stuff like that. <laughs> but that was just that was just stress. I think <laughs> stressed okay. out. Okay. So uh, just just do the rhythm like. Hey, Cindy, wonderful to talk with you. Our, sorry, hey, Cindy, really uh, thrilled to meet with you today. What was it about the message that I sent you last okay. week that really jumped out at you? Okay. Very clean. It's cleaner. Okay. It's not, yeah, you okay. kind of got there, but we drove for five miles instead of <laughs> one mile, you know? Okay, okay. Yeah, okay, you ready? Yeah. Go ahead. Hi, Dave. I'm, I'm just thrilled to be on this call with you. I'm excited to get to know okay, you. Okay, pause. I want you, Cindy, and I want everyone to go back to how she said it the first time and this time. The first time she said, I'm excited, and it was about as flat as a flat tire. Okay. But this time, she's relaxed. Look, when you're going to call, if you guys want, I'm telling you, if, you, if you're, like, I know Cindy's going to be, it's, it's stressful talking to me, to be honest. Like, it is. It is it's scary. And, and it's scary sometimes just to, not just me, but to other people. Just like maybe do a visualization, get your mind for 10 minutes just to relax. Like before I even came on this, on this call today, I, 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 I visualize and meditate for 15 minutes on the energy field of how, what I want to create on this call. So if you're, take some time before you meet with someone just to set your energy. Now she's in a rhythm now, because you can see her, if you go back and watch, she starts to get very relaxed. You can tell at, when we're into the second half of the first intro, you can tell that this woman actually does know what she's talking about. Like her confidence going up. You see, when she starts to relax, her confidence goes up. When you're not confident, your tension goes up. Yeah. So if you're like that, I'm telling you, take 10 minutes out before. These calls are very important because Cindy could change my life. All of her goals and all of the, my desires, my struggles with my child hinge on her ability to sell. She's playing with my life. She's got my life in her hands. I like that. That's how serious this is. That's how serious this is. There's two people on this call, Fiacre and Catriona, and, and they're clients in One Sale Day Club, and they uh, help people through hypnosis to release a lot of addictions, a lot of suffering they help people re get released from. The chances of these people getting released from it without them is really low. This is that person's life, depending on the intensity. Now, I guess if I, if I was selling dice and vacuums, I'd probably think the same. I was like, this is this person's like clean house on my, in my hands. It's not their job to buy from you, folks. It's not their job to buy from you. I've done thousands of sales calls, thousands of them. And I think maybe like five times I ever had a person come on literally with a credit card out. They all had to be sold, like all of them.
I love it, Cindy. From the top, go ahead. Okay. Hey, Dave. I'm really excited to be on this call with you. Just really happy that you reached out to me. Can you tell me what about that uh, message that I had on? Hey, full stop. I didn't reach out to you. You reached out to me. And don't <laughs> don't double talk. Okay, go ahead. Don't say the same thing twice. Say it once and leave it. Okay. Go ahead. Go. Hey, Dave. I'm really excited that you uh, came on this call with me. <laughs> um, you sent me a message, and I'm I'm calling you back about that. So what what did you gain from that message that you want to explore? Yeah, I'm going to make it real easy on you. Okay, you ready? Yeah. Hey, Cindy, really thrilled to meet with you today. What inspired you from my message? That um, what inspired you to meet with me today from my message? What jumped okay. out at you? You ready? Okay, so, hey, Cindy, really thrilled. Hey, Cindy, really thrilled to meet with you today. What inspired you to book the call in with me today from my message? Clean, okay. simple, precise. Okay. Okay, so go high energy, then lower tone. High energy, heart tone. High energy, okay. heart tone. Go. Okay. Hey, Dave, I'm really thrilled to be on this call with you. What inspired you to reach out to me today? Drop your tone. So you're going, you're going the same tone. Yeah. Hey, Cindy, really thrilled to meet with you today. What inspired you to book in the call with me? Okay. Ready? Dave. Okay. okay hey, so Dave. Relax. Just relax. Okay. <laughs> yeah, relax. Okay. okay. Go ahead. Hey, Dave. I'm really thrilled to meet with you today. Mm -hmm. So what inspired you to reach out to me? Um, you know, I, uh, when you sent me the message, I know it's okay. When you sent me the message, I, um, I clicked on your profile and I saw that you're, you're, you're doing life coaching. And um, I've been thinking about that for myself. Okay, good. How long have you been thinking about that? Um, quite a while now, since my second, since my second daughter has been born. Okay, okay. How old's your second daughter? Uh, she's three. Okay. And what changed in your life after she was born? Great question. Um, yeah, she's got challenges. So she's got some uh, mental challenges. And uh, that's really changed, you know, my, me and my wife, our life and our marriage. And, and um, it's actually caused a lot of tension for our other older daughter, too. Yeah, it's, been tough. it's a lot of stress that you're going through right now. Bingo. Yeah. Good. Yeah. Marriage, yeah. Okay. So, well, I, uh, I can help you with that. That's my coaching program is really good at helping figure out what the problems are and, and dealing with them and yeah, solving those problems. So wonderful. Uh, okay. Full stop. One perfect, really great. One last question would have just would have sunk it so deep. You want to know what it is? Yes. Dave, what would it mean to you? <sighs> Yeah. Because she, she mirrored really well. She, she mirrored back my thing. And you need, to, like, you, you could have sunk it so deep together because I'm suffering. I'm actually yeah. almost going to tear up with my little, my pain and suffering here. Um, you could have said, what would that mean to you? Okay, okay because yes. we were here, we're going down. And then we, with your question, we flatlined. We could have went one more. Okay. We could have sunk deeper with our composite. So let's put this in the chat now. What do we know about my character? We know you're hurting. Yeah, what else do we know? Yeah, what else? And mechanical too, like just mechanically. What do we know about me? Yeah, family. Yeah, what else do we know? Am I married? Yeah, stress with wife. Yeah, we got marriage, we got stress with wife. So what else do we know about that? What could that do? Could it, could it be eroding our marriage? It could be. Yeah. What else do we know about me? Other child. So yeah, that's right. What's going on there? Suffering. They're suffering there. Okay. And what, what happens to a, 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 a parents when their child suffers? It's terrible. It's like torture. They suffer. Yeah. Yeah. So I could be, I'm like, literally, I could be living in hell. 
What else do we know? I there's another thing too. I said that it changed our life, like unrecognizable. So our life could have been pretty magical prior. Nikki, why am I slow to make decisions? I'm not sure if I am. Why do you say that? Well, since your daughter was born, I, I didn't quite hear the exact amount, the, the amount of years, like how old the daughter is, but it seems like it's something that you've been thinking about for a few years. Yeah, but I may not have been presented with a decision, though. Mm -hmm. Cindy's going to present me with a decision today, but this might be the, she might be the first person I've ever reached out to. So yeah, I could be stubborn. I could have been, what else we know? We know maybe we've been trying to do it ourselves. So maybe I have been making decisions. Maybe I have been, maybe I am a strong man. And the decision making has been trying to do it ourselves. There's that too, right? Look how much you learn from a person within like two minutes. You know what we're really doing? We're also identifying their paradigm. You know what controls most people's decision making? Their paradigm. We were talking on, we're on a team call yesterday because we always like to um, we like to talk about you guys after the workshops, and um, we got we we got some good. And uh, one of the one of our salespeople said that he had a great call with a guy that's an amazing fit, but yet he wants to wait. Why would you wait? Why would you wait? He wants to do it. He wants to make the changes, but he wants to wait. Why? I'll tell you something really interesting. I've never seen anybody ever get fit in the future. I've also never seen anybody get healthy in the future. I've also never seen anybody get rich in the future. I've never seen anybody make a change in the future. Why? Because the actions in, that you do today create today and tomorrow. It's just so obvious. Isn't it obvious? Would you ask them that question? What? Why would you wait? If that's their objection. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. But, but, but that's a different topic. Like, that's a different talk. Like, that's a different phases. There's all kinds of stuff goes into it prior that you even have the ability to talk like that to somebody. And, you know, there's all kinds of stuff like that. If they don't trust you, if you just come out as a jerk or, you know what I mean? Some people get it really off. Like, I remember this one time I was talking on a one sale day club and I played a call where I was actually swearing at a guy, but that's what he needed. And then I got all. So they kind of took it the wrong way. But then I said, well, good for you. At least you're talking to people. At least you're, at least you're showing some, some push, you know? Because remember what I said? I forget what day was. It might have been day one. Can you get comfortable when another is uncomfortable? And there's nothing more uncomfortable than the truth. Nothing. Ooh, it stings. Nasty little thing. The truth. Man lived a couple thousand years ago and he said, know the truth and the truth shall set you free. It takes a lot of courage to face the truth, you know. Okay, Debbie, well, let's do the, um, uh, I'm not buying one. Um, yeah, Vanessa, are you still on the call? Yeah, you asked that. Do you want to sim with Dave? Yeah, sure. I just don't know if my microphone's working. Can you hear me? Uh, yeah, I can hear you. Can you hear yeah. me? Perfect. Yes, okay, I can. Okay, Vanessa, what do you do and um, how long you been doing it? Um, so I help passionate eco-advocates launch their first business. 
Okay. So you help passionate eco like ECO. Yeah. So like sustainability advocates, people who are passionate about solving climate change. Okay, great. An and what, like, what would the businesses range through products, services, what? Um, most of the people that come to me want to start a product-based business and then end up switching to service-based because <laughs> I convinced them to. <laughs> oh, okay. You're, you're, so you, you're, you, you got some, uh, what do you call that? Favoritism for a specific yeah. way. <laughs> <laughs> you got I the favorite child <laughs> hey you got the favorite child uh yeah. okay so how long you been doing that <clears throat> um about a year now okay about a year now so okay from the top one more time so you see i'm asking these questions i'm not 100 percent clear on everything you're doing um okay. so you want to make sure that you're making me nice and clear when you say it in one sentence okay so let's go from the top go ahead so i help passionate eco advocates launch their first business Okay. Why does it have to be passionate? Because they have to want it and have that burning desire to make the business a reality. Okay. So you help passionate ego, eco advocates do what? Launch their first business. Okay. Wonderful. And you've been doing it for how long? About a year. About a year now. Okay. Okay, do you want to be the person that says I'm not buying? Yeah. Okay, you ready? Yeah. Okay, how did we meet? How, how do you usually get your calls? Um, through, like I run a live workshop and then they book in a okay. call at the end. Okay, yeah. beautiful. Okay, so you have people that come to your live workshop, book in a call with you and then come on the call and say I'm not buying. Yeah. Okay, great. Um, you ready? Hey, Vanessa, thrilled to meet with you today. Hey, what inspired you to book in the call with me? Yeah, well, I, I really liked what you were talking about all week. And I really just wanted to, you know, have a chat about what I'm looking to do. But, you know, full disclosure, I just, I don't have the money right now to invest. But like, I really wanted to get the opportunity to chat with you face to face. Okay, wonderful. And what exactly was it that I said during the workshop that kind of jumped out at you? Well, I think, you know, I've been thinking about starting a business for a while and I've been, you know, going back and forth on what it should be or how I should do it. And, you know, I think it's time to take action and, and that really resonated for me. Yeah. Yeah. So you, you think it's time to take action? Yeah. Yeah. I just, I wish I could afford to do it, but I, but yeah. I can't. And so, Yeah. Yeah. Um, but you're pretty passionate about uh, launching an eco business. Yeah. So you're pretty passionate about, you know, having a positive impact in the world, right? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. And uh, when you said you've been thinking about it for a while, how, like, has it been like weeks, months, years, decades? <laughs> Um, I mean, it's always been in the back of my head. So, you know, maybe 10 years thinking that I'd love to have my own business and, and the past couple of years thinking about it more seriously. Yeah. And how, how long have you been like, you know, this is kind of a crazy, this is ridiculous that I even have to ask this question. Um, how long have you been concerned about the environment? <laughs> like I, I'm just ridiculous that people don't know about this, but anyway. <laughs> yeah. I mean, really actively like in the past couple of years. Okay. So you've been thinking about having your own business for about 10 years but you've been passionate about saving mother earth for about two years. Yeah. How serious are you about really making a positive impact for mother earth? Yeah. I mean, we have to do it, you know, we have to protect the planet for our children. So yeah, yeah. I definitely want to have my part. Yeah. Someone's got to do it. Right. Yeah, absolutely. Would you say that you would be ready to, to buy into the idea of no excuses? Just have someone has to step up. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. So no excuses, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Do what it has to be done. Do what it takes, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Wonderful. Well, I can help you with that. No problem. I've helped a lot of people launch their business and really make a positive impact. 
So on today's call, I'm going to find out more about you, what your goals are. I know that you said that, you know, money was tight or whatever, but you know what? This is a serious cause and we've got to get over that. And we've got to come up with solutions for that. Mm -hmm. Okay. And then I'll show you what it looks like working with me. And we just see if it's a fit for you. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but before we do that, like if, you know, when you say solutions, like my credit cards are maxed, I'm on maternity leave, like I'm just making ends meet right now. Like I just, I know that investing right now is just not going to be an option for me. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. So I just, I don't want to waste your time, but like, I'm super keen. I love what you have to say. So, you know, I want to learn more, but I don't think right now I'm going to be able to buy yeah, well, you know, that's no problem. So when I talk about solutions, yeah, usually it will come in the form of borrowing some money or something, and you might be like right strapped. But at the same time, you'd be shocked what a passion can produce. Mm. I've talked to a lot of people in your circumstance and situation. A lot of people. Mm -hmm. And I've had a lot of people that have actually gone off and found the money because remember what we said, no excuses, right? Yeah. 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 So let's put it real simple. Would you like to just stay where you are or would you like to start to really start to help mother nature? Just yes or no, which one? Yes, I wanna, I wanna yeah. start. Then let's live from that place. Okay. Let's live from that place. So okay. let's forget the money. Let's have a wonderful call today and let's see what happens. And you're okay. not wasting my time. I've booked in 30 minutes for you today. I've already decided to give you my time anyway, so it's no problem. Okay. Sounds good. Wonderful. Okay. There we go. Perfect. I like that. I like that. Okay. See, I take away all objections by getting her to be a no excuse woman. Mm. She's totally screwed by the way. She's totally screwed. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I mean, like, yeah, this is a objection I get quite a lot because they haven't launched their business yet. And so making the investment is, mm -hmm it's a rational thing for them. So, well, you know, you're, uh, I want you to write this down. You know, you're dealing with, and a lot of people uh, deal with this. You're dealing with people that are so heavy on psychic income. Mm -hmm. You see, there's two incomes there's psychic income and monetary income. Mm -hmm. And I think I said on another day that people confuse worry with love. And they think just because they worry about it, then that means they're doing something. They're not doing nothing. So it's called an empathy ego balance. Now, if you're bumped into a lot of those kinds of people, I'm going to suspect you, you are in the same boat. You attract oh, yeah. what you are. Okay. Okay. So you got to take what I said to you today and you got to take some of this own, you got to take some of your own medicine. You got to take some of the medicine I'm giving you mm -hmm. because you attract what you are. And this is a real bastard to come to terms with. But if you keep letting these thoughts into your head, you and I become what we think about. And if you keep perpetually accepting them, they're going to keep coming, baby. Mm -hmm. You got to put the plug in the energy jug. You're attracting these people. They're teaching you a lesson about yourself. You have to buy into a no excuse. Cancel. Cancel culture, but cancel culture in your mind. You need to cancel every thought that is not serving you. You got to get real tough, really tough. Some of us have a long way to go longer than others. And some of us are really up against it. You got to get real tough about your desire. Because if you don't, ain't nothing going to change. That's why I question the passion thing too. Yeah. That's psychic. That's psychic. Okay. That's heart centered. It's not that, not that you nor any of these other people aren't heart centered. Of course they are. But a lot of people confuse and worry with love. They think just because they feel the emotion that that's enough. That's nothing. You're just killing yourself. So do you think using that phrasing, like saying, I want to attract passionate eco advocates is yep. attracting just the people who think about it and don't do? You know, you know what it is? You know what I think? What? You're not going to want to hear it. Are you ready? Yeah. You're judgmental. In what way? You're judging people. How so? 
We all do it. When someone isn't aware or have your level of awareness, you might have a little bit of intolerance or just like, oh, like, oh, like, oh, they're so dumb. Remember I said, I said, you know, it was like, I find it ridiculous even that I have to say this and ask this next question is crazy because how this is so obvious. It's like, here I am talking this week about the power of the mind and selling. It's so obvious to me. So when, when one of our, one of our teammates said yesterday, like that this person wants to wait, it's like, have they not heard anything I've said? And if I, right, have they not heard anything I've said? And before I would go into a low vibration with that. Mm. Cause it's very frustrating talking to people with no money. It's very, fr- you know what I mean? Like it's, it's, it's frustrating. I've been, I've been through everything you're going through. I've been through. And I used to have a thing called scorn, which then is justified anger towards that individual through judgment. It's crazy. Hmm. Now you can work with passionate people. I love working with passionate people too, but just have a little look. We're talking, this is hardcore, what I'm talking about. This is, this is refining the energy. There's a lot of people set their goals because they hate their life. They just want to escape their life. A lot of goals are set from escape of terrible vibration. Terrible. And I think if you and I came to terms with it, I think you'd really work with anybody that wanted to launch an eco business. Yeah, that is interesting because I do get really frustrated. Of course you do. (laughs) With my clients sometimes when you say the same thing 43 times and they still don't get it. (laughs) That's right. Yeah, that was very perceptive of you. Yes. I picked it up right when you said, right when you came on the call, I pick it up. That's so funny. That's why I asked you, why are you passionate? Mm. But so is it so much about the word or the way that I say it? No, it's not the way that you're saying it. It's the energy that's behind it. I can feel the energy field behind what you're saying. Okay. I don't even think you're aware of it. I know for a fact you weren't aware of it until I just told you. Yeah. That's really interesting. I just said to you before that the hardest thing you'll ever hear is the truth. Mm. This is how refined you can get your intuition, folks. You can feel a person. Where do you live, Vanessa? Montreal. There you go. Well, I'm in Saskatoon, Canada. So we're, we're like, uh, we're about four, four days drive from each other. And you're here where you and I are fused up. Mm-hmm. I can feel you. I can feel all your energy. I can feel it all coming right to the screen. You can feel my discomfort right now. <laughs> yeah, you can hear it in your laugh. <laughs> okay so you got to look at that i'm telling you you you'll it'll be a big win for you today to look at that and um say why is it this see i did ask you why and just watch it because that scorn it's intolerance it's judgmental and i get it it's anger is what it is actually and it's really justified because why the hell don't they just get it i flip and said it to them a thousand times this week why don't they just get can they not hear are they deaf terrible vibration Mm. interesting all right i've got my reflection exercise for the day thank you there you go very interesting (laughs) thanks you're welcome do you want to do another anu or debbie um i don't think there's any more um or is there anyone else that would like to do a sales sim with dave are we good do we have a time? It's already more than an hour. Yeah, let's go. Um, I do it. I have to host the call. So can I make Chelsea the host? Sure. I'm already 15 minutes late. So oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Pass it over. Mm-hmm. Chelsea, can you be the host then? Okay, cool. Awesome. All right. Thanks for being here, you guys. Hope to see you in one sale day club. Thanks, Debbie. Bye. Thank you. All right. Who's going next? Anu. I would do one. Okay. Are you all on Christine? Okay, let's go Anu, Christine. Then we got to go. I, I have 14 minutes. Okay, ready? Okay, Anu, what do you do? How long have you been doing it? Good. I I haven't said anything, just one one uh, one time. And uh, I, I made my first online course, uh, the, the beta version. And then I, I got the one, one, one client. So all this experience I see here, I have nothing. So I am the white page. I didn't ask you what you were. I asked you what you do and how long you've been doing it. 
<laughs> okay, I have do uh, I have done it like um, eight months. Okay, and what do you do? I created a course for public speaking for beginners and that they will be uh, confident in camera and they can be better in this um, online environment. Oh, wonderful. That's really good. That's that's uh, if you're not getting rich doing that, then you, um, <laughs> you, 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 you need some coaching. Okay. Because that's massive because the whole world's gone, gone digital. Like if you're not honest to God, I'm not trying to be a smarty pants here, like really and truly, like if you're not getting rich with that offer, um, you need to get into one sale a day club. So we'll see. I will. I need to launch it now in two months. In the program. Oh, you do, we... hey. Yep. So now here mm. I, I am. Mm. Sounds like everything's going real slow over there. Okay. Um, let's go. How uh, how do you talk to people? Um, I haven't, but I can imagine that if the workshop is over, then there is um, the last call when you need to start to sell. And, okay, so we did a workshop. You did a workshop. What, what yeah. was your workshop on? Uh, how to look good on camera? How to sound good on camera? Something? Yes, we work with the voice and the, the body language and the message. And the, oh no, what's the point the of the workshop? I, I know, I know, I knew you're in Estonia, right? Yes. Yeah. Okay. So there's might be some language stuff here, but um, what uh, what was the purpose of the workshop? This fake workshop, like we you did it last night. What was it on? Like uh, how to sound good on camera? Yes. Okay, perfect. All right, go ahead. So let's say ring, I'm ring. calling you. Let's go. You're calling me. I feel I've I've booked into me with you. Go ahead. Say hey, Dave. I'm really, really happy to see you, uh, and uh, and talk to you. Um, I've I found that that you are interested about the course, and um, I I'm here to ask uh, how can I help you. Wonderful. Okay, let's let's get right to it. What inspired you to book in the call? Go ahead, start from the top. So what inspired you to book uh, this call with me? From the top. From the beginning. Start all over. Ring, ring. Ah, okay. Hey, Dave. Um, I'm extremely happy to meet you here. Um, and um, what brought you to this call today? Why did you book the call with me? Uh, well, I was on your workshop last night. And... Um, I've been in uh, presenting online. Well, I was presenting. I've never presented online before, but it kind of seems like that's the way the world's going. Um, so I was I uh, was in your workshop. Oh, that's that's wonderful. Thank you for coming. Um, uh, was there anything special what um, you heard or you wanted to know about or what to catch your ear? Yeah. Um, no, yeah, there was a lot you said actually last night. I thought it was pretty, pretty amazing. Um, when you were talking about like how confidence travels across, I don't know if this is actually what she's talking about, but uh, you know, when you're talking about how confidence travels, um, you express it over the vocal cords, how you express it, your tone right, right through, right over your voice. I thought that was very fascinating. Thank you. So you would like to, to learn how to do it and start to present yourself better to be more confident? I would. And are you ready for that? That because those courses usually one to one quite nasty. I will bring oh, you out. Done. No, you had it done. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Again. <laughs> no, I was really good. Honestly, I was really good. Right when that is, boom, you have agreement, the composite, then we go off. Okay, tell me more about yourself. And da, 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 da. You're done. You're out of the greeting. You're done. Once you got the agreement, you're out. Okay. Okay. You got me to agree. You got me to say yes to basically so you what would, you, you would offer, like, right? You would, yes. So there you, you would like to teach me? Huh? You would like to me to teach you? Are you interested? Yeah. No, you had it. You're done. It's it's over. You okay? You did it. Yeah. Good. Really? Then you, cool. then you go into the want section after. Now we're not going to teach wants, but you're out. You're done. You're out of the greeting right then. You're out. Next phase. Oh, it was good. Thank you. <laughs> but. Don't go so slow. I don't even have an obsession with going slow. Why the heck are you going so slow over there? What I don't do you know mean why you're going so slow. slow. I'm, am I well, talking? You're saying beta this and eight months that and another two months we got to wait. Like, I don't know why you're going so slow. Yeah, why it took just get on? too long time. I was in long COVID. I was totally out. So I started from reading and, and writing from the zero and walking. So that's why it was quite long. Oh, okay. All right. And how are you doing now? Good, good. Now in the progress. Okay, well, hurry up, okay? Mm-hmm. Thank you. Big business for you if you do this right. 
Yeah, it was fun. I, I like to do this beta version. Yeah, I love it. Okay, mm -hmm. hurry up over there, all right? Thanks. Okay. Christine? Yep. Go. What do you do? How long are you doing? Uh, I am a, an English language coach. I help uh, French speaking professionals to level up to an advanced level so that uh, they're already at an intermediate level and uh, so that they can get the job, the promotion, or the clients are looking for in their business. Okay. Well, how do, how do you do workshops? Uh, I'm in the process of putting them together at the moment. Yes. Okay. How do you get starting, calls? So. How do you get calls? Um, I, I haven't gotten calls yet, actually, to be honest. Uh, so I currently have a, a Facebook group, so I'm going, I'm just ready to start getting on calls right away. So okay. that so, is where I'm at. Okay. Let's say you message me in the face. Let's say uh, you message yeah, let's me. Say I, yeah. Let's say I, I actually did a workshop on pronunciation. So specifically okay. the, the rhythm of the language so that they can mm. be better understood by native speakers. Sure. Okay. Hi, Dave. It's, uh, I'm really excited to have you on the call today. Um, what inspired to, um, to talk with me today? Uh, oh, first off, bonjour. Bonjour. Bonjour, ça va? Ça va bien, et toi? Oui, ça va très bien, merci. Merci. Mm -hmm. um, I, uh, I'm trying to level up my French. That's why I joined the workshop. I've, uh, my French is, it's like, it's not great. And I've got an opportunity at work right now that if I can up this, we're going to tap into a new region of the market. Mm -hmm. And uh, I also actually, they want me to start doing presentations. So if I don't increase my French, um, the chance of me getting this position is, is not, it's not great. And I really want it. Yeah. And I love French. Yes. Yes, of course. Just so you know, Dave, I'm doing the opposite. Eh? I'm helping French people to actually level up on their English. Okay. But well then invert that. We're, we're, so, we're, oh, we're and still, I, and I love English there. and I love English. Okay. Okay. Um, so, so let's reframe it. Let's reframe yeah. it. Okay, I'll okay. say, um, so I've uh, been in French uh, speaking primarily my whole life and mm -hmm. the company now is starting to expand into the English market, which is obviously the global market. And yeah. uh, I'm a pretty ambitious guy. And I want to up my English because there's going to be a lot of opportunity inside my company here in the coming years. Mm -hmm. And if I can learn how to communicate better, um, I'm going to make a whole pile of dough. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, so I can absolutely help you with that. What uh, particular uh, opportunity is it that you're really aiming for? In what regards? In, in the company that you're currently uh, working with, like, are there specific tasks that you feel that you really need to improve on to, to kind of get you that, uh, that specific opportunity? Oh, um, like speaking and stuff like that? Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah. So the company is expanding. So what it is exactly it's going to be, we're not totally sure yet, but I'm already kind of up there in the company now. Um, but I think if I can start to, you know, do talks and communicate better to the client mm -hmm. base and to other investors, um, we're going to see a big, big thing. So I guess it would be the speaking, the speaking to others, both it's public good. and actually even just, you know, in meetings and stuff. Okay. Not even if it's just public, just even meetings, you know? Yeah, absolutely. So, so how long have you been learning English or, or what, what level do you feel that you're at right now? Um, so let's just say let's actually put a level thing out. I'd probably okay. one to 10. I'm on level three. Okay. So in what level are you looking to achieve? You know, if I could get to like level eight here in the, in the coming few months, I don't know if you can help me with that or not, but if I get to level eight, that'd be pretty, that'd be pretty special. Great. Well, I, I can actually absolutely help you with that. Um, and in okay, an pause. informal setting, yeah, pause. Yeah. I can help you with that. And I can even help you get to level 10 too. Uh, okay. Okay. I can help you with that. And I can even get you to help to level 10. Two. So that you're, yeah. Uh, if that's what you desire. Yeah, if that's what you desire. I do, because I'm a savage. In, in, a, in a formal setting, so that you are, you know, speaking in a formal um, English. So you're speaking in English formally in front of an audience, but uh, that you can also joke around, you know, with your colleagues and, and oh, uh, wow. really feel that energy to, to feel like, uh, like you're really part of the group and you're belonging and, and uh, that uh, there's a sense of ease. So kind of like some street talk, like I can communicate, yeah. it's not just like a robot. Exactly, because uh, I, I also really go into uh, helping with the understanding of the culture as well, um, okay. because th there are some differences in the, in the nuances. 
Okay, wonderful. All right. And then take me to the next. So on to the, the next. Yeah. Okay. So see, what do we know about me? Let's do in the chat here quick. We have a few minutes. What do we know about me? You're ambitious. Yeah, we know that. Am I successful currently? Yes. Yeah. But not at the level you want to be. Do you think the money objection will come? You might get a money objection because I might be mine by money, but do you think the money objection will come because I'm broke? No. Right. What else do you know about me? Man, it's not coming up. Um, you're willing to do things fast. You want things done fast. Um, you, yeah. So I have urgency. Yeah. What else? Mm -hmm. Is time of the essence? Yes. Yes, okay. because things are moving forward. But but this is so, there's still some ambivalence. But you want to be ready before the ambivalence, before things kind of get opened up and developed. Okay, so I'm going to tell you right now, you'll overcome all my objections by telling me the time is now because I have, there's a, there's a pressurization in my urgency. Am I married or single? Uh, I'm not sure, but from what you're talking about. What do you feel about, I am? I'm single. Yeah. See? Because of your ambitiousness. Yeah. Not necessarily, but when I, when I was my character, I was single. How okay. do you know that? Perhaps my intuition. That's right. Yeah. And you could be wrong, but I actually inside was a single man. Okay. See how powerful the intuition is? Yeah. Yeah. There's a saint lived, uh, St. Francis of Assisi said, teach the people. And if you have to use words. You know, the wording is everything, I find, especially, you know, teaching language, the way that you present the types of language that you use yeah. is see, what she, will grab them. It, there's two awesome things she said. One was to help you converse, like making jokes. That was a very sexy idea. That was really good. And then the second one was my suggestion to you is that oh, I can take you to an eight and a 10 if you desire. And we can do it fast. So you also know that I want speed. Like I want it now, I want fast, I want it fast. So you know that I'm gonna make decisions fast. So you've got all the ammunition against all objections already done. You just have to do a good job on selling and presenting it to me. Okay. Good? Yes, thank you okay. very much, Dave. I love it, awesome, awesome to see yes. you, Christine. Yes, awesome um, to see you. Yeah. Okay. Wonderful. I want to thank everybody for coming on the opulent salesperson workshop. Always a pleasure again to um, share these ideas with everybody, help you actually, you see in common consulting and in one sale day club, we're actually teaching you things that are actually going to help you. Like we teach the mindset hardcore. Of course we do, but there's a lot of skill set that goes into this stuff. There's a lot of skills. I don't know about you, but I don't want to hire a doctor or a brain surgeon that's never done a brain surgery or never been to school. You see, skills pay the bills. Mindset pushes you through. Mindset is everything. But then after that, it's the acquisition of skills. I'm telling you, you can start to talk to people differently. You can start to move people in a different way. And selling your whole entire career depends, and your financial situation depends on your ability to sell. Okay? So if, if you're considering getting into one sale a day club, I'm going to strongly recommend that you reach out. And uh, we'll reach out to you, obviously. Just click, come and talk to us. And um, if you're damn serious about becoming a master salesperson, I'm going to tell you right now, show you how to do it. Okay? Have an absolutely incredible week. Sale a day keeps the doctor away. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye. Thanks, Thank Dave. you. Thank you, everybody. Hi, thanks. Thanks, Dave.